Hi, I'm Andre and this is day 21 of my 30 day YouTube challenge. Today I want to do something different. Imagine if you have a very long string with a weight on the end. If you push it, it will go around in a spiral until it eventually stops. And if instead of that weight you have a paint of can with a hole on the bottom, it will drop a spiral of paint. If the paint instead of coming out of the can goes into a tube and that tube is attached to a speaker that is playing music, it will vibrate it so instead of doing a continuous line it will do like an oscilloscope line to the sound of the music. So if that line is going around in circles then it's kind of like a vinyl. Anyway, so really long shot and under I don't know if anyone's ever done this, but uh, I was just talking to my cousin, he's a music producer and he came up with this idea. So I thought I'd try to make a giant vinyl record of one of his songs. So let's try it. Uh, we're almost at five minutes and that thing is still going so that weight at that distance is more than enough to do what I want I probably if anything I need less weight and we've got uh, the paper we've got a bunch of different colors paints some funnels a piece of tubing and a speaker what we need to do now is some kind of structure to support all this. There we go. We have access to the uh, speaker now. Sweet. Fits really well on this one. Paint then shouldn't escape anywhere. Now we need to mount this some somewhere. He has been moving in a way that nothing else people have ever known. Okay, so our groovy contraption Mark 1 is done. I suppose we need to test it now. So I've got everything set up. I've got my printing area. I've got a little stop there so I can pause. I've got a plug so I can not go get stuff everywhere. I've got some mixing containers, some colors, water and some glues. Okay, so first one, terrible failure. It was too diluted, it went too fast, uh, didn't work. <laughs> Restrict the flow a little bit. Work 
working well at all. Now the paint is too thick to run, and if it doesn't run in a continuous line, it doesn't work. Alright, so this is a bit of a disaster. The paint's too thick or too thin. We're too far away from the paper. The, the pipe is bent the wrong way and the funnel is too small. So it doesn't hold enough paint anyway. And I don't think I even have enough paint for all of this. So back to the drawing board. Originally, it sounded like a good idea, didn't it? The drops are getting closer together, which I think means it's getting less viscous. Okay, so what have we learned? We need a lot of paint. Uh, the closer we are to the paper, the better, because it's drawing a continuous line and when the base hits, it goes into droplets, so that's not quite working out as expected. Um, and dilution is your friend, so if we can get more water into the paint, it runs better, meaning it breaks the line less, and it doesn't get stuck and we have more paint to play with so let's try again So that's the end of this video, didn't really achieve my goal of being able to draw perfect spirals with an oscilloscope waveform to them, um, but I'd love to continue exploring this, but I've run out of time so I'm going to have to go and edit this video. But again, thank you so much for watching, through success and failure, and if you haven't already please subscribe because it really helps me grow the channel and it helps me make more videos like this and as soon as there's good weather some paragliding videos as well thanks a lot bye